Hey guys, Simcolor here, and today we are going to learn how we can uh, display the images sent to specific users. So I'm going to pull up the Firebase uh, dashboard right here, and um, just to revive your memory, we are going to, for example, in this user free, uh, three, uh, learn how we can get the images from this child receives uh, that was sent from this user, which is the user two, right here and go and check the previous lesson if you have forgotten about the logic um, and yeah let's just uh, learn how we can display this image we'll be uh, reusing a lot of the code and we'll use the display image activity in order to show this image uh, as we did with the story uh, fragment uh, the logic is somewhat similar but with some minor change changes so Let's get uh, right on with it and we are going to open up the chat fragment which uh, right now has absolutely nothing and we are going to also open the story fragment because we, as I've said, we have to copy a lot of things. We are also going to go into the resource folder, drawable and to open the story fragment and the chat fragment and we are going to simply copy and paste what's in the story fragment to the chat fragment and we could uh, reuse the the layout in the active in the fragment in here so instead of inflating the fragment chat we inflate the fragment story but i'm making it different so that it is easier for you to make the changes in the future if you want to so we can go ahead and close the fragment story Let's go into the fragment, the story fragment and just grab everything that has to do with the recycler view and place it in here. Okay, let's go in down, go into the on create view. I'm going to collapse that to make it easier uh, for us. Okay, and on create view, simply paste this uh, right in there. Okay, now some errors will pop up because we must call uh, some functions which we'll uh, copy and paste right now. So the clear and uh, this array list, let's just go below, paste that in there. And now uh, all that's left is the listen for data, which will just create the function for now. And we won't uh, copy anything because that will be different. So listen for data. Okay, void, oops. Okay, so now we are ready. Okay, so now um, we are going, as I said, to reuse the, um, a lot of the code. And one of the things that we are going to reuse is the recycler uh, uh, view adapter, object and view holder from the story. So let me just grab it, here it is. I'm going to open all of these classes right here and okay so we are going to reuse it but we must uh, store an additional uh, information inside uh, each and every single uh, adapter that we create and the reason is because the logic inside the display image activity will be different uh, if the um, we are opening up uh, the that activity from the story side or for the ch or from the chat side so from the chat side we'll have to uh, as the the user uh, sees the images we'll have to remove uh, that image from the database and so if the the user opens up this image right here we'll have to delete it and this doesn't happen with the story so we must have something that tells us uh, from which fragment we are opening up the display image activity and uh, I've been thinking about this and I figure out the, the easiest way to do is to uh, simply uh, go inside project and I'll explain you in a second and open up recycler view story item and give an ID to the layout and you'll see why I'm doing this uh, right now so let's go into story view holders and simply create that layout my layouts okay i just copy and paste the email 
layouts done okay now let's go into the object and we, what we are going to do as i was uh, telling you uh, before is uh, we are going to have another thing that we must pass in the story adapter to the layout so we are going to set a tag for the layout uh, that will be either chat or story and uh, after that we will simply jump in here and we can do it right now we are going to place another string in the bundle called chat or story and this will be the m uh, layout dot get tag dot to string so this is how we are going to know inside the display image activity uh, from which fragment we are coming from okay this will all make a lot more, more sense in the when this is done so let's go ahead and do it so chat or story We are going to simply copy and paste one of these because they are all strings. Copy chat or story. Paste it here. Chat or story. And chat or story. Okay, that's it. Let's just create another argument for uh, creating this object. So or story okay and now we are uh, when we create uh, an item we'll simply uh, give a tag to the layout that will be equal to this chat or story so let's go into the adapter real quickly and say older dot m layout dot set and i'm going to copy this because it is easier Set tag, users list, get position, and now instead of get UID, we simply say get chat or story. It's as easy as that. And okay, okay, chat or story. And now uh, all that we have to do is uh, get this string in the display image activity, and um, from there uh, decide if we are going to choose to show an image as a chat or from story so we can go ahead and close all of this okay <coughs> and now uh, an error will pop up in the story fragment and the reason is because it is requesting another argument when you create an, uh, an object of the type story so let's simply give it story and this will again tell the display image activity where it is coming from. Okay, so now all that's left is to, apart from the display image activity, is to listen for the data and create the, the items for the recycler view. So I'm going to do it uh, right now. Just come in here. And the logic will be a bit different from the story because in here we'll have to first get what you which users um, sent us images and then we must go to the those e users uh, childs and get the email to display in the um, in the recycler view so that we know uh, which users it is uh, they are instead of just showing an id okay so let's going to listen for data let's create a database reference And let's call it receive db equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child users dot child uid dot child received and instead of the uid i'm actually just going to say firebase of dot get instance dot get uid so this is our uid and i'm not going to create a variable because i believe that uh, this is the only time where we are going to to actually use it so i'm not going to bother with it i'm going to import the database reference 
and now we are simply going to create a value event listener new value event listener okay and now we simply say and don't forget to add the semicolon at the end we are going to simply say if data snapshot dot exists then for data snapshot and we are going to loop through uh, the data snapshots uh, children so that we can get um, every user that's on the, the child receives in our um, child. So let's go in here, data snapshot, and say snap data snapshot dot get children. And uh, don't forget, this data snapshot is a variable, so the first D is uh, not capitalized and in here it is capitalized because it is the type of the variable okay so now we simply say get user info and this is another uh, function that we'll create in a second snapshot snap better yet dot get key and this snap dot get key will return uh, this id right here which in this case corresponds to user2 but if we had another uh, child that uh, user that has had sent us images for example the user1 then this uh, id will, would also appear there okay so let's just create this uh, method alt enter uh, enter and we have the key which is the the id of the user the snap.get key and now I'm going to just copy this uh, reference and change some things around because instead of Firebase of dot get instance dot get UID, it is key. And this child doesn't matter, so we only want the email. And now let's say user DB. And user db dot add value event listener new value event listener and now if data snapshot exists as always if you don't put this then the app might crash if you can't find um, the child so it is important that you uh, place it there and we'll create the string for the email and the UID so email equals to data snapshot dot child email dot get value dot to string and string uid equals to the key of this ref so let's say data snapshot dot get ref dot get key Okay, and after that, all we have to do is to create a, an object of the type story object, which we already created. And there's an error here. Let me just check. Okay, semicolon. Um, we must create an object, as, a, as I was saying, and simply add it to the recycler view, and that's it. So let's simply create the object, story object, opt equals to new story object email uid and now we pass the fragment that we are on so in this case chat and now we say if exclamation point which which is not results dot contains object then we can go ahead and add it to the array list so in this case add Opt and m adapter dot notify dataset change and that's it we don't need to do anything else in these fragments we are all set and done let me just double check everything okay okay 
Okay, so now we can move on to the display image activity. And this is the last thing that we need. So, okay, uh, we are going to add another string, which will be chat or story. And now we, and I'm going to go back to the view holder just to show you, we are going to get this uh, string from the bundle. So we can go straight into here, the display image activity. You can copy and paste this, but instead of user ID, it will be Shatter Story, and we'll get the Shatter Story. So these names must must match because otherwise it will return null. Be really careful about that. Okay, so now we are going to make a switch, uh, which will call a different function uh, if it is a chat or if it is a story. So switch chat or story and case chat then listen for chat and we'll create this in a second break and case story then listen for story simple as that okay and because we already have this listen for data we are going to rename it and say it is, it is listen for story just make things coherent and now all that we have to do is to create a listen for chat so let's go uh, create method and now we'll say database reference chat db equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot shout users dot shout uh, and now we'll pass on our uid because we must search for it in here so the our uid or better yet, the user that's currently logged in UID. So Firebase of dot get instance dot get UID. Okay, let me just check. Okay, now we must go into the child received dot child user ID, which is the user that has the send the image and we get from here okay uh -huh. and there is an error here a semicolon is needed i'm going to collapse that and make it a tiny bit bigger for you guys okay chat tv and now we'll just add the event listener add value event listener new value event listener and it creates uh, everything for you um okay now there are some similarities between what we are going to do and this part right here so i'm going to actually just copy and paste this straight from here so get all of this and paste it in, in, into the uh, on data change and the only difference really is that we don't care about the timestamp because chat will be always available to the user no matter if it is one day old or one year old so we can forget about this check right here for the timestamps. We can simply remove them. Okay, remove that. And that's it. Now, uh, one uh, difference that there is here is that we don't need this child story. It is uh, available straight to us. So we can remove the timestamps. Okay, image URL, everything is fine. Now, all that's left is to actually remove the child uh, when we load up the images. So we must kill all of this. And we are going to simply say chatdb.child uh, chats, uh, how did I call it? Oops, I call it a story snapshot here, so I'm going to quickly change this. So chat snapshot chat tv dot child chat dot 
the set snapshot.getKey and we say dot remove value. And this will remove it, uh, all of the images automatically as we load them up. Okay, so the user will only be able to see them one, one time, one time only. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I believe that's it. Let me just double check everything. Uh, okay, let's just run the app, see if everything checks out and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, so here we are, the, the app loaded up nicely. Let's just take a picture and now we are logged in as the user one. So let's simply send the, the image to the user two, for example, and the child will be created here. Okay, that's right. And this ID corresponds to this ID. Okay, so now let's just log out and jump into the user two um, profile. So user two at gmail.com and one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, log in. And if we swipe left, uh, the, the user one already appears there. But if it doesn't, then simply click refresh. And now let's watch. As I click the user one, I expect this uh, child right here to be um, cleared. So let's go, go right ahead. And it is deleted and we are able to see the image. And it's, it still shows up in here. But if we click again, nothing shows up. And that's because we haven't refreshed uh, these fragments. So if we click refresh, it will delete it. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Um, the app is done. I mean, there is nothing left to do in the matters of the database and sending and receiving information. So all that uh, you could improve on, uh, apart from obviously the code, every every piece of code can be improved, but that can really be get improved is the camera and how you capture the image and all of that. Unfortunately, uh, Android doesn't provide a great API for the, for the camera. So yeah, we have to, to work with what we are given. Uh, the real Snapchat actually has a loss in quality because they get the image, they simply screen grab the, the, the screen and that's why a Snapchat uh, image on an Android looks worse than it, it does on the iPhone. So I believe the team that works on Android could really work on this part of the Android ecosystem. But yeah, that's just my two, two words on that. But apart from that, yeah, we are done. Uh, I'll probably release a couple more videos on the camera uh, mostly and to, to at least guide you guys on how you can uh, make some improve improvements on that. Apart from that, we are, uh, I don't know what, what I'm going to do next. I probably be working on the dashboard for uh, each project that I do, uh, a web uh, application, and we'll be using Firebase hosting for that. I've been working a bit with it and I'm really happy with it. I believe it is a great tool and it is finally what it should be. So yeah, we'll be probably be doing something uh, along those lines. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. If this series was helpful to you at all, then please do consider donating. I have the links down below. Uh, anything at all uh, is, is great. And I thank you guys a lot for, for doing that. If you are not able to, then leave a like, subscribe. And yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao.